Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, Today we will continue to discuss Again on the basic of motion So uh, this is a continuity of a previous video regarding the basic of motion Okay, last video we discussed on the acceleration So this video we discuss on displacement of this equation. So last video, okay, the green one that I wrote here is the one that being discussed in the last video. So I really hope you uh, click on the link below, watch the video first before you continue watching this video. All right. So now we continue for the equation number B. So this is a motion from position 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, and 4 to 5. So we want to find the distance traveled by the object. So what is the distance traveled by the object from position 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, and 4 to 5. So in kinematic equation, you have a kinematic equation of A, V, Okay. In SPM, the equation is like this. A, V minus U over T, S equals to UT plus half AT square, and V square equals to U square plus 2 AS. So now in your A-level or matriculation, Actually, it's the same formula, but they wrote it like this. A equals to V minus V naught, which is an initial velocity, divided by time. And this one, changing with X, equals to V naught T plus half A T square. And this one is V square equals to V naught square plus to a x okay but this is the same actually so it is the same so we are focusing on using this uh, metric relation right even though the formula is the same so to find the distance or the displacement we can use uh, number two or the equation number three we can use number two or number three but I would like to use equation number three as we have the acceleration. I want to use number three. You can also use number two. After this, you can try. If you use equation number two, you will get the exact same number, exact same uh, distance by using number two or number three. So I would like to use number three. Okay, so using equation number three, it will be like this. Okay, so equation number three is V square equals to V naught square plus two AS. Okay, in SPM is V square equals to U square plus 2AS. It is the same. So I would like to use this formula. Now I would, I would like to find the distance or the, the distance from S1 from 1 to 2. Okay, so here is 10 square equals to 0 square plus 2 times 5 times S. All right. So here I get 100. This one I get. Oh, sorry. This one is. OK. Okay, so this one is x. So 2x 
so the x is basically 100 divided by 10 so this is a 10 meter okay. so the distance or displacement traveled by the object from position 1 to 2 is 10 meter okay so here I get the I want to put s 10 meter the displacement or the distance is 10 meter so now I want to find from 2 to 3 okay from position 2 to 3 okay now I want to use an equation number 2 as I told you you earlier you can use any equation the number 2 or number 3 the equation number 2 is like this x equals to ut plus half a t square right for number two so in or in SPM they put s equals to u t or this one a v naught sorry u t plus half a t square okay it basically it's the same formula so I want to use this to find the displacement or the distance x so x equals to u which is from 2 to 3 so I want to find a distance from 2 to 3 so u is 10 t is 2 plus half acceleration is 0 plus t square but however this is 0 so you get the distance from 2 to 3 is basically 20 meter See, I can use either formula, but I will get the answer. Right now, I want to find from the distance from 3 to 4 using this one. Okay, using the formula of V naught T plus half A T squared. Okay. So this one is 10 times 2. You can see here. 10 times 2 and then plus half negative 5 to square. x3 to 4 20 minus 10 so you get here 10 meter okay Then, last one, what is the distance from 4 to 5 or displacement from 4 to 5, distance? Same formula, V T plus half A T square, so V T is 0, time with 2, plus half five and two square so you got zero plus ten so this distance is also ten meter okay to simplify things up so here the displacement or the distance so I put here x if you don't confuse so x from 2 to 3 is 20 meter here the displacement from 3 to 4 is 10 meter and at the bottom also you get 10 meter
Okay. So, using a kinematic equation, now we solve a B. Right? So, hope this get you uh, can make you understand regarding how to find the distance of the object using the kinematic equation right so see you next video so i'll teach you on the find the total distance travel and find the displacement also to find the average speed and the average velocity see you next video bye bye